Salut, David Rollin here with headphones because I'm mixing today and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about a brand new plugin that I'm using on this record. Here it is. It looks a lot like TH2. If you're a guitar player and you use TH2, you're familiar with the interface. It looks quite similar. Six different app models to choose from. My favorite is the TA501 and that's what I have applied right here. You can change all the settings on the amp head directly on the amp head. Same with the cabs. You can pick any of the available cabs or no cab at all if you want to do some kind of direct signal. My favorite is the 151 HR. I love that cab with the TA501. It really gives you a nice a nice uh, warm tone. It sounds very natural, very uh, it fills in the gap. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Here is drums and bass. Here's the dry bass track alone. We have a good performance from our bass player, but it lacks in character. It sounds dry, because it is dry. Here's the same track with a preset that I created for the band. Here's how it sounds. Here's Alone. Let me bypass the mark. That's direct. Here it is with the amp. Everything in the software can be controlled real time so you can really tweak your sound. If you play your track with the drums at the same time, you're gonna be able to adapt the sound, the tone of your bass to your drums. Very, very convenient. The Mark Studio 2 plugin comes with five high quality effects. You can access these by simply clicking on the effect panel, octaver, envelope filter, distortion, compressor, and chorus. Just like for TH2, you have complete control as far as where you want to place these effects. I can place my compressor in front, for example, my distortion right after. I can move all this and configure this just as if I were using hardware gear exactly the same way. You can also pick the type of microphone you want to use. Each microphone is a very accurate model of the real thing. For example, here we're going to mic our bass amp, the TA501 with a 106HF cab model with a ribbon 122. Here's how it's going to sound. Let's change the mic model to a dynamic 112. I can set the room ambience. There's a lot more you can do with this plugin. It really gives you control over all the main features that you want when you're miking a bass amp. We will be using this on the album. All the bass is gonna go through the Mark II. I highly recommend this for any bass player or any producer who want to have the tone and the flexibility all in one with the Mark Studio II. Thanks for watching this. Back to my mix. I'll see you next time. Until then, salut.